Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with this really pretty green and gold eyeshadow tutorial. I'm definitely feeling the holidays this year. Um, you know, Christmas and New Year's are around the corner. So be on the lookout for more creative tutorials. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I really don't know why, but just go ahead and take the time out to hit the red button. And make sure your bell is on so you can be notified when I drop some heat. Also, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because I already know you're going to enjoy it. So yeah, we're just going to jump right into this tutorial, you guys. Um, I will make sure I put everything below in the description box. So no worries, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. For anyone wondering, I picked up this turban at my local beauty supply store. I got it in this gold color and in a really pretty silver color, so I might do another tutorial with the turban. I'm not sure, but make sure you guys stay tuned. If you've been watching my other videos, you guys are familiar with this palette. It's still the Be Bella Cosmetics palette and I'm still in love because the pigments are really so bomb guys and it's so affordable. Make sure you check them out. Alrighty guys, so what we're doing here is called the halo effect. You want to make sure you get good pigment in the corners of your eyes, in the inner corner and in the outer corner and then towards your crease you're gonna connect it like a halo what you're mostly gonna be seeing me doing is building the color and then build and then blending it out and then building the color and blending it out because I want to make sure that the green pops but I also want to make sure that the transition is flawless I'm going to go in with my lighter color and begin to pull the look together. You just want to place it in the middle. Now here you can see that the eyeshadow is really chalky. It's not really sticking. That's my fault. Um, I should have definitely sprayed my brush beforehand. Um, but you'll see further on in the video that I'm going to fix it. So no worries. And right here you see me applying the gold shimmer with my finger and that's because I have more control with my finger, you know, I can control where I'm depositing the color, so yeah, that worked better for me. And I'm just going to keep blending and keep building and <laughs> blending and building until I get the desired shape that I want um, and I guess the desired effect that I want. Let me just say that I've definitely been sleeping on this LA Girl um, foundation. The coverage is phenomenal, guys. Like, it is better. The coverage is better than my Clinique, my MAC foundation. Like, I'm very impressed. The only con that I have about this foundation is that it gets really, really oily on the skin. Like, I've said it with almost everything that I have in my kit, and honestly, I can't find anything that keeps me, you know, dry throughout the day. Like, I'm always, like, four hours after I have the foundation on, I'm shining. So, that's the only con I have, but the coverage is phenomenal. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I'm just going to speed through the rest of this, you know, everything else is self-explanatory. Just watch the video and see, you know, same foundation, highlighting, contour, um, routine that I've always had, you know, just a little bit of modification. So I will have an updated um, highlighting contour video coming your way soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.